Hello everybody. Hope you guys are doing good. Uh, today with me I have this 2012 uh, Freightliner Cascadia. I got a code that says uh, SPN 5444. That is the crankcase filter or breeder, whatever you guys want to call it. So I'm going to be changing that today. It's located on the passenger side. You got to open the hood and um, I'll show you guys how to remove it. So the filter is located here, right underneath the turbo passenger side. So we're gonna have to remove the, back up this clip, remove the sensor, uh, remove the torque, uh, the torx, I'm sorry, the torx. I think that's a T27, I believe. And then we're gonna have to remove the pipe, which is a T25. Then we're gonna loosen up four bolts. That one, there's one underneath, and there's two on the other side too. We gotta get it from the bottom. Those are uh, five, eight, uh, five, you're gonna use a five, eight socket. And make sure you have uh, some kind of uh, collector, oil collector on the, on the bottom so you won't spill anything on the ground. So after you remove it, the four bolts, um, in my case, it was uh, easy to come out. It was over. Uh, as soon as I removed the two bolts, it, was, uh, it came off. So once um, you guys loosen it up, you're probably gonna have to use like a little plier to break it loose. Uh, but in my case, it came off like that. So all we gotta do is just uh, uh, bend this uh, wires, cables here. It goes to the alternator just bend them down and then so you can remove this and uh we're gonna i'm gonna clean up the uh the mountain area where it sits uh take off the old gasket and put a new one on it this is the part number um well, the comes with, so this is the new crankcase uh, breeder or filter um, got the new gasket but uh, the only thing I'm gonna remove from this area will be this hose here so since mine is the older style so I'm gonna remove this uh, this hose using the T20 25 T25 then it's gonna go make sure you line up the casket correctly otherwise it's gonna leak as soon as you start it so make sure you line it up all right crankcase uh, breeder slash filter is already installed uh, the old hose um, I have to install it because uh, this is the older style the sensor went back in there um, I had to put a little bit of insulation on the harness because it was brittle it was breaking um, so everything's in install uh, all the bolts are tight there's no leak I had it running for like five minutes just to make sure everything was good and then uh, once I turn it off I came over here and uh, you should be able to kind of feel the um, the filter uh, running while the truck is off you should be able to fill it uh, but be careful though because everything is hot so I mean just grab it from here and then uh, you'll be able to uh, fill it um, so yeah uh, hopefully this video if you're watching uh, can help you guys and uh, thank you